Hi, it's Mr. Rops. And Mr. Co. And we're here to talk about this A value now in this equation. We are concerned about A and the effect of A. Previously, we learned if it's negative, it reflects over the x-axis. But now I want to see if A is not negative, it has an actual value. Okay, so if I have x squared now, I'm going to change it to a 2. And I'm going to give you a hint there, Mr. Cole. I'm going to tell you that this is a a vertical stretch is what it is. A vertical stretch. Okay. So what is the effect of a vertical stretch? You think that's going to affect the x value or the y value? Um, I think it's going to affect the y value because y is the vertical axis, right? And what happens is it takes this y value, this y value right here is 1, and it multiplies it by this a. Guy, by a, which is 2. two. It'll end up here. This y value here is 2, multiply by 2, and I get 4. It's really going to be 4. Okay. What's going to happen at the bottom? So what's going to happen with y equals 0? Uh, y equals 0, 0 times 0 stays ah, 0. It's going to go through that point as well. All right. If I have 1 half here, 1 half times 2 is 1. one. And so the symmetry, though we know this is our axis of symmetry, I know as Miss Flynn likes to say, a brother from another mother. Over here, they reflect over, and I have that. So I multiply the y values by a. Let's see what happens when I actually do it. So let's find out if we're on the right track. So I have my a value, I want it to be, oh, wrong one. I want my a value. I want it to be 2. Change to 2, and I was pretty close with my estimating. Not too bad. All right, so let's try a different one. Let's put that back. Let's try what's going to happen if I do 1 half. Oh, if careful. the A value is 1 half, yeah, I've got to be <laughs> careful there. If my A value is 1 half, all my Y values get multiplied by a half. So it okay. ends up being... Less than what you had before. Less than what I had before. So 2 becomes 1. 4, half of 4 is 2. two. And so I think I'm going to end up with a graph. Do my brother from another mother. Over here. And over here. I think it's going to end up being something like that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So this, I have to change my scale. This is going by point ones. We go point nine. And there's 0.5. It's pretty close there. Not bad. Not bad. So there's the idea. So if A is bigger than 1, if I make A bigger than 1, like all these values up here are all bigger than 1, then the graph gets skinny. So what I like to say is if A is bigger than 1, and I should say absolute value of A, then I have a skinny graph. If a is less than 1, just positive values, let's keep this absolute value of A less than 1, then I call it a fat graph. It goes further out to the sides. All right. So let's put a bunch of these together now. Let's look at a scenario where I have 2 x minus 3 squared plus 1. Let's look at this one down here in the corner. And we should do a little bit of erasing here, be really careful. I will? Okay. So, okay. in order to do this, we should keep track of our order of operations. First thing we have to do, what's the first thing we should do there, Mr. Cole? Okay, so start, um, start, start in the brackets, right? Yep. So we're going to change our h first off, so we're going to make h negative 3. Okay, so we'll make h negative 3, 2... Ah, I see it move along. 3. Ah, h negative 3. Oh, I really want to be positive. 3. I want it this way. You want to be able to see it? To be able to see it. Okay, let's change it then. So let's change, change on here to positive 3. Positive 3. Okay. So this is x minus 3 is this curve here. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> x minus 3 goes here. H is 3. We're good here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we had to go the other way. He's getting, he's getting confused, as I do sometimes. All right, so here we go. We moved it to the right, negative opposite direction to the right. 
Okay. So next, the part of order of operation says change our a value. And I'm going to take all those values and I'm multiply them, all these y values, multiply them by 2. So I'm going to end up here, and here. And this one will be doubled up around here. So we'll, get, we'll make it skinnier. Make it skinnier. 8, oh, no, ten. there we go. I was good on one, I missed the other one. And then the last thing we have to do is we have to add the one. And that's going to be a horizontal shift up one. Vertical. Vertical, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Vertical shift. And so here's my vertex is still 3, 1. Same as before, the vertex hasn't changed. But it's a skinnier graph now than it was. All right.